So this little system I've got set up works all well and good, but if we want to take gold making from 31,000 to a million, we need to make a real man's factory. Which translates perfectly into moving day. I'm sure this process isn't going to want to make me rip my hair out. <laughs> So big time skip later, I'm here at Waterside Manor, purchased with my flame tank, and I should be good and ready to head down into the abyss. Think I'm gonna make that stupid little stairwell thing again? No, it takes so much time. Instead, I can use my flamethrower tank to make a giant cave system thing down here. This thing can only dig up to tier one dirt because I don't have any extra boosters on it, making it my perfect little tool to open up my digging spot. And if you're wondering about all this, well, don't worry about it. So can I dig this still? Yes. Good, that means I should be able to place my drills and everything down here. Uh, yeah, still a very laggy ride to come over here. Forgot about that. So now without fail, should be able to place a drill like so. Maybe more so right there. I'll need one for the ice maker, but then another one can come back down here. Start making me better things. Actually, what am I doing? If I'm trying to make the ultimate factory, I still need to kick it up a notch, don't I? Luckily, I know just how to do it right after I unload everything out of this truck. It's only because I know for a project this size i was gonna need to do a little let's say questing work but i've got some more guild tokens here i can plop in by the lava thaw booster lava drill common ice rake and the extended tool rack thank you i'm also gonna need some more gem compressors just a few and of course plenty of these pleasure doing business lava drills are special in that they work in all tiers which means if i drop this thaw booster onto this guy well then we can start thawing even deeper where all the good ores are. Come on, we're making a pretty little cave. We got a vein here. Sick. Me when I'm a hungry vampire. <laughs> all right, that should be all I need the lava tank for. I've got a perfect double hole thing set up down there. Should have maybe went and bought a roller truck instead, but it's fine. If anyone needs me, I'm just going to be raking snow for the next half an hour. See you in a bit. A few minutes later. An excruciatingly long time later. And we've raked out everything, and you can kind of see what I'm going for here. If I have the conveyor belt up top here, it should spit right into this thing. Need to make sure I find all of my dang little crucible dudes here. And then I was checking out the things that everyone said about the gem compressors, and I saw Hybrid Steel had a cool little setup where you just kind of have them in a row like this, and that'll take care of everything, and hopefully not break my game anymore. My big thing now is I'll need to get all of these pipes down and hooked up properly. I think at tier 2 though, we get access to something called Core Stone, which should let us not only make, like, better improved drills, but also, like, whole new machines all together. Setting these little gem compressors up with lava hooks like so too. It is becoming pretty apparent to me though that I have nowhere near enough conveyor belts to actually make this fully automatic like I am hoping, but that's fine. Rome wasn't built in a day and also I have no friends. I can do this for a while. And I immediately realized my system isn't going to work so I have to redesign it. Tell you what, I'll catch you when I at least have the skeleton done. Okay, so I've got the system figured out. What should happen here is I'm running these water pipes above these lava ones, but that'll fit every one of these conveyor conveyor belts that will then drop all the proper resources and then I'll do a little turn here which these conveyor belts also properly fitted to dump into each crucible and then I'll get one for this core stone machine that I have hooked up right here and that should give me a fully automated factory the only thing that I'm getting stuck on is my lava tanks all the way over there and it's all the way over here and even more so it's all the way down there either way as things are right now I need more conveyor belts more water pipes more of my sanity to come back. That might be a lost cause, actually. I'll tell you what, let's focus on one problem at a time. First problem, I will need these water pipes to connect. Second problem, I need a lot more of those. Luckily, an advantage of living at this waterside plot of land, I almost said in, but that's not quite right, is that Burville is just uh, right down here. The perfect spot for all things water pipe. There's about $3,000 worth of piping in that. This part is where it's about to get expensive. I've only got a measly $25,000 to my name. I'm going to do the completely normal human thing and spend half of that on conveyor belts. It's also dawning that instead of uh, going through all that trouble, I could have just came in here and bought splitter conveyor rights. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. It's too late now. I'm too far deep. Well, there goes $21,000. Let's hope this works. Let's start simple by placing my splitter conveyors where I know they'll actually need to go. Realizing I don't think I needed to buy as many as I did, but that's fine. Oh, the left conveyor. You need to go in there so this will actually work properly. I think I need one more left conveyor. Did I have another one laying around? There it is. 
There you go. Got a nice little reverse L shape. This conveyor is also set up for my core stone. I think I also saw people talking that if you have the logic keypad on this thing, you can press the number in and then hit it, and then it would fill up with hardstone to give you the brick you needed. Definitely uh, going to be a lifesaver. So here we go. I've got the actual point where it would come up, and then everything would go around now. I think I just had an epiphany on how I want to do something else. I should be able to run my lava pipe right into this harvester right here and make like a little fun macaroni. Swoop. And then I'll let me come back and I'll just show you guys the full kind of result of how I think it'll work. So I've got my little convey belt system here on the floor that should then go up, push this left, everything gets going into where it's supposed to go. I've got my lava pipe sorted for these guys here with one here because I think I need to put a drill to directly into that. But now the only issue is, uh, well, making my way down into this big old tier two mine. My stairs, because I used a flamethrower tank, are actually kind of biting me in the, well, but I and my left kidney for some reason. So as far as like bringing it up here, it won't be too hard. I just need to make sure I have enough space to do this S shape uh, all the way down. But if there's snow there, I can't. Meaning I've got a lot of pickaxing and then raking in my future. Yay! Why don't I ever pick a job that doesn't take me so many hours of my day? Here we go. I've managed to place all of these down here. I'm realizing that I'll need to get my drills right here for safekeeping for now. Now time to make sure this is all set up. Let me climb this like stairs also, just to make sure none of these wall bits are sticking out. Yeah, like this big old section, my God. Otherwise I'm pretty sure something would have just gotten stuck and that would have sucked. But yeah, that should be perfectly all the way down here. I just need to run some straight conveyors right to this spot. Can I just drop this in there? No, it's stuck. Oh, I ended up making more work for myself. I'm gonna scream. So here we go after a long, long journey. All of these should, take everything straight up. I added a cladium intake pipe here so that way the water pressure gets increased going to everything. I should probably put one back up there for this big long structure. But now all I have to do is get lava hooked up to these guys and then we'll be in business. Now for lava I've thought about the only possible way to do this. I'm sure there's plenty of better options but we're gonna do it in the only possible way I feel like doing it. It's basically time for operation go straight down. Oh this is the final piece I needed. Theoretically, these guys should get lava now. I've got cladium shards going into them. Wait, I'm stupid. I need a conveyor belt to go into here. I kind of had to make this weird chimera system, but unless I've overlooked something major for like the ninth time. Oh, hang on. Why is that cork in there? What? Go in there. All of this should work. Let's see if I spend two more hours crying or if my system will go. My drill turns that little thingy into water and it looks like the water's always running for these guys. Oh, but it's these conveyor belts aren't running. Hang on. I found the problem. There we go. Now all of these are running. It looks like yes, properly. Oh yes. And the resources are coming out. I'll be honest. It's a little slow because this drill doesn't shoot enough ice like into this machine. So it has the occasional hiccup, but still after some form of odyssey, all of these little guys journey up here. Maybe I should put like a centralizer hook right there, but that's fine. It works for now. I think these then get conveyed up and should drop into our harvest where they shoot out a ton of stuff. Wait, wait a second. Hang on. Stop it. Hopefully that kills the water in time. I totally forgot to place these things down. Bruh. What are you, hardstone? Oh, gross. I didn't need to do anything. Let's go in there. want to go iron. I got a gem I'll just put right there. Gold. My shards are going to be at the end because I practically don't use them ever. And now I'm not seeing any of the other ores in here. Get back to it. It's kind of handy that I just have a kill switch right up here. Is that? Okay, no, something broke. Something broke already. Already. Oh god. It's because I don't have the proper gems in place for this. And why is this shut already? What happened there? All right, give me a second. I can fix this. Okay, take two. I just kind of let it mess everything up until I could find one of each of these gems. And now you can see stuff isn't dumping it. I also got a bunch more logic levers so these things don't, you know, get shut. That cycles the gold and iron properly. Surprisingly, you don't need a funnel anymore. This stuff just like works now. Oh, wait a second. I'm realizing an error. This one's bad. 
bad, it kind of divvies it 50-50. But I thought I was going to get a new ore. I wonder if that's a tier 3 exclusive. Wait, no. I see it. How do I even go about grabbing this? Like this. Dang it, that's just Cloudium. Hang on, I can get it after everything else is sorted. It'll be right in here. There we go. Core stone. Just set that down right there. I did a quick clear all raw resources. And why did you shoot out something? Okay, hang on. I'll let you know when I need something, buddy. How about that? Well, sweet. I've got a fully functioning system now that is constantly bringing me stuff from tier 2 down there. Even though these don't look like tier 2 ice rocks, they have to be because that's where all my stuff is. Might need to just do some more Chimera and eventually hook up another drill to go into this or upgrade this guy. One of those options should work for it. And I mean, now that I've got access to Core Stone, literally so many upgrades are available to me now. All right, so what I need you to do now is rate my setup and let me know if you like it or hate it. Any suggestions on how you do it differently too, let me know. Until then, I think I'm going to go sleep for seven hours and just let this run its course. Thanks for watching. I'll see you.